I am joined here on the campus of Moorhead State University with head volleyball coach Jamie Gordon as his team has claimed a three-set victory over the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State University. 26-24, uh, 25-27, 25-23. Coach, your team coming out of the gate warmed up so well. This is such a phenomenal job. Just really knowing that you are undefeated in a conference 6-0 right now um, with the victory 7-0. But frustration, I'm sure, after the first set, seeing your team uh, put down 15 kills, yet 13 hitting errors. Yeah, that was a little frustration, uh, or a little frustrating. I, and I, it seemed to be a little bit of a carryover from uh, our performance on Tuesday night against Xavier. Uh, we gave away a, a lot of points against a very quality opponent. And we did that, uh, you know, today in, in the first set. Uh, you know, 13, 13 hitting errors. We had, I believe, three service errors mm -hmm. uh, in that set. That's 16 points right there. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, against a quality team, we were so, so fortunate to get a, a win in that first set. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I noticed, uh, you guys were so evenly matched, and as we talked about before the match, to the balance mm -hmm. um, of the, the Gamecocks and what they brought to the table defensively, um, they only had 50 digs, yet they you guys had 62. But really, when you watched the match, you didn't really feel like it was that big of a difference. No, it wasn't. They uh, it, And we spoke about that uh, at the beginning of the match, that our, I think our two teams are very evenly matched. Uh, there's not a particular uh, attacker that you can you know kind of really focus on, although Nicole Morgette had a great match tonight for uh, for them. Uh, we finally were able to slow her down a little bit in the, in the third set. But, um, you know, it, it's very balanced in the defense. Is a, is a big key for both of our teams. Uh, I think they blocked a little bit better than us um, tonight. Uh, I thought that our back row play, we probably got a, were able to steal a couple points there. But it was a, it was a fun match, a fun environment for our fans. Oh, absolutely. And tonight was uh, Duck Dynasty night for your crowd. And I, I really encourage everybody to come out, especially to the home games. Um, inside this gym, the environment is just electric, especially when you get a lot of the other teams, but also when you have the theme night. So your team really uses that atmosphere, don't they? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, I, they they feed off of it, and you know when you look at tonight's match, we had two ma or two of the sets were only separated by two points, and so um, a lot of times the teams that, that come away with those wins, there, there's some sort of difference. There's a play, there's an X factor, and for us when we're in Weatherby, that X factor has been our fans, and uh, you know whether it be a, a group of students that were decked out in camo tonight, or our president Dr. Andrews, or dean of students, or the parents, or, or all just in general, it's a, it's a great atmosphere for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Now, uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but Weatherby will not be your home for the rest of uh, many of these players' careers. You guys are really motivated and trying to find a new home for your team. Yeah, we um, we have the plans, we have the space, uh, we're moving right along. Uh, we have a, uh, an opportunity um, to really move into a what I think will be the, the top volleyball facility in the country, you know, not just our conference, but in the country um, with what we can provide for our players and support, but also the, the environment for our fans. It, it's just going to be a tremendous uh, asset for our program and, and really I think will give us a boost for our recruiting and, um, you know, and, and, and the program hopefully allows us to take another step forward. Definitely, but you're going to have a lot of sad fans. You're yeah. going to have a lot of sad alumni as well, but understanding as you move forward and as your team continues to nationally compete every year, you have to bring forth the facility as well. Yeah, it, it, it is. I, I think, um, you know, we're, we're, we're really knocking on that door on the national stage. And, um, you know, it's a great institution, great team. There's a lot to recruit here. Um, but to have that facility is, it really can be that, that difference maker. And I really think while our fans probably will miss some of the culture and the storied history that you have here in Weatherby, um, I think there'll be an opportunity to make a lot new uh, memories and experiences in the new facility. Absolutely, absolutely. Now this weekend, um, you've taken over Jacksonville State University, and now tomorrow you face a team that's still got you know, every desire to come in with that, you know, arrow for the mm -hmm. bullseye on your back. So obviously you need to get some rest with your players um, as a coach as well. You know, and right. your players need to go back and really, no matter the outcome, no matter the win or the loss, it's now done and you guys have to really come in tomorrow's match ready to go. Yeah, and I think our team does a really good job of that. And we we, we talk about it just even within a match and, and with a, within a set. You've got to treat each point. As a, as a separate contest, and you can't allow uh, something that maybe happened that last point to to, to fall into the next one. And you know, we've got a little. We actually put it on our board uh, in practice after our, our loss to Xavier. Um, don't spend too much time 
worrying about yesterday today. You know, yesterday cannot have that impact. So whether it's a good match like tonight, a 3-0 win, we're excited about that. Um, but it means nothing if we're not continuing to move forward and get better. And there's definitely some things that we need to get better Absolutely. at for Absolutely. Well said. Well said. Now tomorrow you guys will play um, against uh, Tennessee Tech, and you'll be home at 2 o'clock again. So uh, if you're just joining us or you're wrapping up with us tonight, I am here with Coach Gordon as his uh, Moorhead State Eagles have claimed yet another victory in Weatherby Gymnasium, undefeated in OVC play. And tomorrow we will be back here on the OVC Digital Network at 2 o'clock. And for those fans that are going to come out, tomorrow is our Dig Pink day. So uh, I'll be uh, wearing some pink, and we, we encourage all of our fans to, to come out and support uh, breast cancer uh, awareness and, and the efforts that our, our athletic department and student athletes are and, and uh, helping to, to find a cure. Absolutely, and it is a big philanthropy of the volleyball community, so mm -hmm. it's something that every university as well as Moorhead State has on their plate and really likes to push. So thank you very much for joining us this evening. We'll be back in just a few minutes to go over post-game stats.